Hey, welcome everybody to a Wednesday morning. Our uh, time is coming up on 643. Here's your weather photo of the day. If you didn't get to the lakeshore yesterday, or even if you didn't and you looked out west, you might have seen a brilliant, vibrant, colorful sunset, certainly captured by Mike Borsler. He's one of our regular contributors. This is one of my favorite spots, Grand Haven there. And you can see there are people walking on the pier, probably not the safest thing to do. My concern is that this is all icy and you know, it's easy to slip on the ice and if you go over the side and you end up in that cold water, that water is about 35 degrees or so, you're not going to last long in there. So we say for safety purposes, it's just not safe to do that. I like the fact that Mike shot this photo uh, from the uh, shoreline, but beautiful, colorful photo. Uh, if you want to connect with me on Facebook, the page is Kevin Craig Fox 17. If it's Instagram or Twitter, if that's your thing, it's at Fox Weatherman. Thanks to Mike for sending that one in. We do have a, I'd call it a storm system, but it's a weak one. It is a low pressure area with a cold front right on over the Great Lakes state. Uh, and that's creating snow and some appreciable snow across uh, northern uh, lower Michigan and across the UP for us. Nothing here except some cloud cover. That's going to uh, zip off to the east. There's another little disturbance or trough of low pressure that's going to swing in here for Thursday. That'll thicken up the cloud cover. And there's a, another cold front that's going to drive some cooler temperatures in here for tomorrow. I think we'll probably only be in the mid-30s, but that's about where we should be for this time of the year. Here is a look at our live Doppler radar. There's nothing in our area. I can't rule out a stray flurry or drop of drizzle, but for the most part, we'll stay dry. It's to the north where you go. You see all the snow plastered across the UP and also up towards the bridge here uh, uh, across northern lower Michigan. And there's even a little bit of rain mixing in there as well. Again, that's all shifting off to the east northeast. None of it really came down into our area. We've been fairly dry here. And the thaw continues even as I speak. Look at our temperatures 34 in Big Rapids, 39 in Fremont. We have temperatures at 39 degrees in Granville, in Grand Rapids, 38 in Ionia and our southern counties. We're in the upper 30s to lower 40s. It's at the lakeshore where some of these areas, like Holland, is reporting in with 45 degrees. We have 45 in Benton Township. St. Joseph is 47 degrees. It is a very mild start to this day, and that's probably one of the biggest things you're going to notice as soon as you step out this morning. Uh, here Here's our wind speeds right now. We've got 18 mile per hour sustained winds in Holland out of the southwest, gusting to 31. It is going to be a breezy day as we head on through the day today, so that's one of the things you're going to want to take notice of as well. Our forecast for today, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. I think we'll start with mainly cloudy skies through the morning hours. We should break out into a little bit of sunshine as we get into the afternoon, but it is going to be breezy. Temperatures around 41 degrees. We've got a southwest wind out there right now that will turn westerly and then subsequently northwesterly at about 10 to 20. 20 miles per hour throughout the day. Here's what it looks like on future track. You can see the cloud cover that's out there through the uh, afternoon hours here uh, or through the uh, morning hours. And then we may break some of that up during the afternoon. There's that cold front that comes on through that's going to usher in some cooler air. And for tomorrow, we're probably only in the mid 30s. A weak trough of low pressure will keep our clouds around throughout much of Thursday. And then high pressure builds in here for Friday. That gives us some sunshine and our temperatures will be increasing as we go into and through the weekend. So we're talking about 41 degrees today. Breezy conditions 35 on Thursday, 40 on Friday with a mostly sunny day. And by the time we get into uh, Saturday, uh, Friday night into Saturday, maybe some early uh, rain or snow showers. It'll be very light if we see that we're in the mid 40s for Saturday and Sunday. And then by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday, we're talking temperatures in the the upper 30s. A quick peek at the Climate Prediction Center outlook for March 3rd through the 9th. The whole central and eastern half of the nation look like above normal temperatures for that first week of March. So again, something to look forward to. You know, there's a lot of science involved in meteorology, and if you have any kids at home, here's something they might be interested in. Fox 17 is looking for our next weather kid. Every month we'll pick a kid to do a weather experiment with Candace Monticelli. All you need to do is head to fox17online.com slash contest in order order to enter your child for a chance to win. And as we warm up, you might be thinking about boating weather. Well, Candace, I think, is going to talk a little bit more about that right now. Alyssa? <laughs> Kevin, thanks. Well, the recent cold temperatures have been